continue our series on the rise of artificial intelligence by looking at AI's role in the future of your healthcare. Fox News correspondent Mark Meredith has the details. It can't wear a lab coat, but artificial intelligence is already debuting at hospitals, clinics, and doctor's offices nationwide. What we started developing was essentially an AI co-pilot for doctors. Eli Ben-Joseph is the co-founder and CEO of Regard, an AI tech company operating within 30 hospitals. He says with Regard, doctors can input a patient's symptoms and the AI will pop out a diagnosis. We like to say it's almost like having an AI med student or an AI medical resident that helps the doctors with their day-to-day. -day. Probably going to be due for a CAT scan and a couple of treatments. AI's medical abilities appear limitless, from auto-drafting doctor's notes to reading x-rays, even assisting in surgeries. Still, getting people to trust AI with their care remains challenging. A Pew Research survey finding 60% of people would be uncomfortable if their provider relied on AI for care. Dr. Marty McCary says AI still has limits. Patients simply don't trust a machine over a human being, but they are welcoming of a machine to assist a surgeon or a physician. While some experts believe AI can cut costs for providers and patients, the tech can also make mistakes, leaving others to warn safeguards are needed to ensure humans still call the shots. The reason it has the potential for catastrophe is because as the AI systems get more powerful, we don't know how to control them reliably so they could potentially go off the rails. Experts believe AI will also play a larger role in healthcare at home, with Americans being able to self-diagnose based off of AI readings without ever physically going to a doctor. In Washington, Mark Meredith, Fox News. Coming up on Fox